this is man. Man is going to help me guide you along my top 10 favorite Popo dinosaurs. I'm going to be doing a top worst as well, probably a top 5. And I originally intended to do two top 5 lists, but honestly, I realized there are so many Popo dinosaurs that I love that I, you know, I just had to turn into a top 10. I mean, I've got probably 30 of them, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, that that would be a good idea, you know, I'll do a Popo collection video, especially in case I ever sell any, you know, I can see how many I had at once, but anyways, um, so this is going to be my top 10 Popo uh, dinosaurs. Now, I mean, I, when I say dinosaurs, I use that loosely, that would also include prehistoric reptiles, I mean, uh, you know, the Megalodon would be a contender, Mosasaurus, I actually haven't gotten that one today, but that would be a contender. Um, I, I mean, I haven't gotten that one yet. I'm supposed to get it today um, in a in a package so from Everything Dinosaur. So, otherwise, that would probably be on the list. So, here we're just going with top ten. And I'm going to start with honorable mentions. And my first honorable mention is going to be the Allosaurus. Now, this is the original. I don't have the repaint version because I like this more naturalistic look as opposed to the colorful type looks most of the time, unless it is a dinosaur that would make sense to be colorful, but, I mean, an Allosaurus, I feel like, wouldn't, you know, want to be too super bright. The only reason I don't didn't actually put this on the list is because it can't stand up, and it, it is a little, you know, I, I could use a, a little bit of flair, maybe a tiger stripe or something on there, you know, like, the, the paint job is a little, I, I don't want to say dull, but, it, you know, it's not exactly spicy, you know. So, there's that guy. I also have the Ankylosaurus. And I think, again, that this guy didn't make the cut just because it's a little bit, you know, dull. I mean, it is quite dynamic. I like the pose. Um, but, like, just the paint job. I mean, I don't know what else much more you really could do with this. But I just feel like the whole thing kind of blends together a bit. Um, but, man, like, I really do like this. I mean, it is an honorable mention. There's no dishonor in being an honorable mention. Here we have the Brachiosaurus, and I, again, it, it's kind of the dullness is what it comes down to. Um, I just, I mean, I love how huge this thing is, but, like, there's nothing too spec spectacular about the paint job. So, like, just, I don't know, but look how massive that thing is, though. But, yeah. Um, and the last of my honorable mentions is going to be this Megalodon. Simply because it, it looks more like a great white shark. Not that we knew what Megalodon looked like. I mean, a Megalodon basically was a giant great white shark. But this looks almost like a juvenile. Like, this doesn't really even look full grown. So you could say this is a juvenile Megalodon. And hopefully they come out with a huge full grown one later, you know. But as much as I love the sea life, there are no sea life creatures on this list. Again, the Mosasaurus, I guarantee, would be on there. Just from the pictures and videos I've seen. But... You know, the fact that they made a Megalodon and it's not on my list just, you know, goes to show. However, number 10 is actually going to be the Carnotaurus, which surprised me. I, I think the only one I struggled to find was a number 10. The other nine slots were easy to fill, but number 10 um, was a little hard. But I actually picked up this guy and it just, like, it felt right. Between this guy and the other four, uh... I just kind of went by feeling, and I just picked up this guy, and I got that feeling of, wow, this thing is just really cool. I like the paint job. It is naturalistic, but it has that kind of flair like I was talking about that I feel like the Allosaurus sort of lacks. I know my Allosaurus was a little dusty as well. Some of these are dusty, so that doesn't help. But, yeah, Carnotaurus. I mean, the pose, like with some Popo figures, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a weird pose, but I get that they want to diversify it, so that's actually, you know, it's cool. It's just... You always have to have it in the front of your shelf now. If you have a bunch of dinosaurs on your shelf, he can't be in the back, or you're just going to see a tail sticking up while he's, you know, sniffing someone's ass. So, <laughs> yeah. So, number 10 is the Carnotaurus. Number 9, this is probably a controversial one, but the Cryolophosaurus. I know that dinosaurs didn't really stand upright like this, um, but... I don't know, it's, everything else about this besides the pose just blows me away. And also, I mean, things like this, the Giganotosaurus, I mean, you could even say the Pensaceratops, the way it's upright, um, 
I kind of appreciate it because it, sh it saves shelf space. But yeah, I do understand this isn't a very natural pose. But man, do I love the paint job on it. I mean, speaking of tiger stripes, you know. And then he's got these cool little spikes going down the back and everything. I just... I really like this thing. He's a little bit of a thin head, but I don't know. I assume that's accurate. I, ju I just really like it. I don't know. Maybe I have a low bar. But number eight is going to be the Rizinosaurus. This thing is a beast. And I love when they when they do these, you know, huge ones like this. And, you know, they've done plenty of, you know, T-Rexes and stuff like that. But, I mean, when they do the ones like this, it's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, it's got the jaw articulation. It doesn't, it doesn't really look as great as it could, I guess. It isn't even really painted, like, mouth in there. But, yeah, I could always just keep it closed. I don't know. I really like the, uh, the colors on it. It's got this kind of green going down the back here really cool yeah number seven dimetrodon let's get this guy out of there yeah this thing is awesome dimetrodon is one of my favorite dinosaurs i mean when you take like obvious ones like t-rex and raptors out of there i mean dimetrodon i think is my favorite i love dimetrodon i love aquatic creatures you know i love the spinosaurus um, it's just, yeah, and I, I love the paint job on this. Again, I, I think I have a thing with kind of tire stripes, and when they, when they put real animal colors onto these dinosaurs, I think I kind of really like it. But, but also just the pose, man, and everything about this. This is what I imagine a Dimetrodon would be like. Number seven. Six, five, four, three, wait, wait, is this number... This is number six. All right, number six. We have the feathered Velociraptor. I really, I know they did a repaint of this, but they actually kind of made it, I'd say, a little more just brown and plain looking. And I actually really kind of like this one with the colors on there. So, yeah, really cool. Um, and this is kind of like six inch scale, I think. I think this could work with like Marvel Legends and stuff like that. Um, so it's just, it's really cool to have a scientifically accurate Velociraptor from Popo. It would be cool if they did, like, small raptors that could actually fit in with, like, the T-Rexes and stuff like that. But number five, we have the Quetzalcoatlus. Uh, you can't do much with the jaw articulation. Honestly, it doesn't even hardly stay open. But I love the pose. I like the paint job. You can see all these veins in there and everything. It's really cool. And again, I feel like this one is kind of like to scale with the uh, with the big ones, like the T Rexes and stuff. And I always appreciate that. Number four, this Spinosaurus based on a JP three. Unfortunately, it has that same sort of issue where it wants to lean forward, but uh, you know, it's not been a little heating up. Can't fix at least hopefully. Love this thing. I mean, it, it really, it's dead on the JP3, like, <laughs> Spinosaurus. Man, it's big, too, man. So, all right. So that was top five. Now we are in the top three. This guy, pretty much based on the V-Rex. From the King Kong movie, which is awesome. I can't believe they even get away with all this. I mean, but then again, there are other companies that get away with just ripping off Popo. I mean, Hobby Lobby, which is a quote-unquote Christian store, um, used to have legitimate Popo products. That's actually where I got this from. And now they sell a Mojo Fun which uh, item, which is just basically a rip-off of this, which is kind of crazy. I've also seen a Schleich ripoffs sold at Target, so I don't know. There's something that's got to be done about that, but this thing itself, I love this. It's absolutely awesome. I love the gnarly mouth and everything like that. That missing tooth right there. It's just super cool. Number two is actually a dinosaur I don't even care too much about, but the Pentaceratops. Uh, same thing with, I guess, like the Crylophosaurus. 
um, the Rizinosaurus, Quetzalcoatlus. I didn't really care too much about them or know too much about them before I got the models. Um, but, like, yeah, now I like them because these models are just absolutely spectacular. I love that you can get this in two different poses there. I love the paint, how it's vibrant but naturalistic at the same time. I mean, gosh, this thing is just really cool. I love it. And it saves shelf space, like I said, by going upright. So, my number one, probably will always be my number one, is the 2019 Spinosaurus. I think this is their, like, crown jewel. Um, I think this is absolutely, easily the best thing that they've done. Um, and I think that they could have had a, a Megalodon that was up on that level if they would have made it this size, made it fat, gave it this battle damage, articulated jaw, you know. But, um... But yeah, they kind of decided not to go that route. But again, to do the top 10 here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. I think I lost, I lost track here. Hold on. I think we were at six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So there are my top ten Popo models for now. I mean, again, the package I'm supposed to be getting today from Everything Dinosaur will have the Mosasaurus, which is new, uh, the Caprosuchus, um, uh, the Giganotosaurus, the Megaloceros, and the Tylosaurus. So I will be getting five new ones. So I mean. This list could change, but for now, this is my top ten.